Three bedrooms, one level with a great meadow view in gorgeous Saddle Lake Farms. Colleen and David Black, Keller Williams Realty. Call on Colleen. Weather Extreme Video for Saturday, October the 24th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters coming to you from the great state of Illinois and Chicago where the colors are beautiful, although the rain is beginning to take down some of the leaves, so the trees are beginning to look a little sparser. Let's take a look at our Skycam network, and there's the clouds over Birmingham, but you can also see a little peak of blue sky, so we could see some clearing later today. And here's a look down at Gulf Shores, a little bit of uh, wave action going on down there on the beach. This morning we have a cold front uh, across the southeastern United States that is uh, going to edge out into the Atlantic later today in response to a fairly strong shortwave trough, not as strong as the one we saw last week moving through the flow. Temperatures are a bit chilly up in my neck of the woods where we're in the 30s this morning, but down across central Alabama we're generally in the 40s and 50s, and we can take a look here a little closer to home and we can see that uh, 48 at Birmingham and 53 at Anniston for one of the coolest and uh, warmest spots as well. Uh, Cloud-wise, you can see it's clear in Arkansas, but we're going to be seeing uh, some clearing. Uh, we're going to see some breaks in the clouds later this afternoon. If they break a little earlier, we may get a little bit warmer. QPF-wise, uh, looking at the, the possibility of up to an inch with the next uh, weather system, uh, that's going to come primarily uh, on uh, uh, to Monday night and Tuesday, as well as uh, Thursday. Storm Prediction Center not outlooking any uh, significant areas, uh, just a small sliver in the mid-Atlantic states as that frontal system and uh, surface low head out into the Atlantic. And speaking of the Atlantic, uh, the National Hurricane Center is watching an area of disturbed weather, but overnight that has actually uh, decreased a little bit and uh, not likely that uh, that area in the Bahamas is going to develop into anything. All right, here's the 06C GFS model run. You can see that uh, high pressure settles in over uh, the southeastern United States and settles in over Louisiana and Texas today. By tomorrow, the uh, upper trough is way out uh, into the uh, north uh, or eastern part of Canada, uh, southeastern Canada, and we should have just a beautiful fall day on Sunday. The next uh, shortwave trough heads our way on Monday, and that will be uh, developing some uh, rain in the front out to our west. But uh, that uh, becomes a little bit uh, interesting because part of the trough it goes off a lot faster, leaving behind a little piece of uh, the action there. So that means that uh, probably Tuesday we'll see things uh, improving in the morning and into the afternoon. By uh, Wednesday, uh, the, the rain seems to be returning as we see a strong southwesterly uh, flow on Thursday, and that southwesterly flow uh, likely to bring us more moisture and the possibility of some rain from uh, Thursday into uh, the early part of Friday. The uh, trough, the, the little shortwave trough moving quickly through the flow, moves through on Friday morning or uh, around noontime, and that should take that front away from us and uh, into the southeastern uh, coastline of the United States, and that would pave the way for another beautiful day on Halloween as we uh, look at the forecast there. Now let's go out into the voodoo land and uh, it's a very fast flow going on and we can see a very big trough up in Canada but uh, also a strong short wave, a very sharp sh uh, uh, short wave moving through the flow on Tuesday the 3rd of November so that promises some wet weather for the southeastern U.S. and then another trough around the 8th so it looks like the flow continues to be rather fast for us. We'll certainly hope that you get a chance to enjoy this day uh, as the clouds break up, but of course enjoy Sunday even more as we see a beautiful fall day. I expect to have the next uh, Weather Extreme video posted around 8. A little bit late this morning. Uh, spent the day helping my daughter move up here in Chicago, and so I slept in a little later. Well, hope that you have a great day and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing.
hearing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.